So my name is Robert Sebunya. I'm a digital technologist. So the Digital Learning Hub is basically a place uh, that we started off on Facebook, uh, as a Facebook group, <laughs> uh, typically, uh, which was basically about uh, people who are working in the digital space as professionals, not just creatives, to come together to sort of uh, find a way forward for this young industry. So you'll see that uh, uh, we have a lot of people who are practicing in the space, but most of the people practice it either for the first time because most of us were pathfinders in a way because there was digital marketing as it is had not been there for a very long time. Uh, so we so we came together as a group of people, uh, Aaron, um, a lot of people at the agency side and also the client side, and then we we started the digital learning hub. Eventually crossed over to the WhatsApp forum, and uh, it's bathing uh, bigger things like you see today. So what it was about mostly was about upskilling the industry to get to the digital promised land, basically. There, there could be three crucial uh, challenges that the industry is facing. One, there's a huge talent gap. Uh, the guys who know and the guys who ideally uh, are starting out, I can't say who don't know, um, there's a huge gap between them. So it's almost impossible to find the right talent for any company. So you'll find that if a company hired uh, one robot, you know, and, and robots screws up, they, they will think digital marketing doesn't work for starters. So that's a huge, huge problem. Then the next thing is uh, the industry is not documented uh, as professionals, you don't find any case studies, any awards, so people don't aspire for anything. People just aspire for the, for the usual. So you don't have any mark of excellency for the industry. Uh, so if you have a place where you have a mark of excellency, at the very least, even Uganda, the Uganda music industry when it was starting out, when the Palm Awards really came up, you saw that people were yearning to be at the top. So we, we have that challenge as an industry. The third that really happened is we, 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 did, we do not have a talent integration from industries away from us. So where you see Kenya will have an integration with guys who are working in the UK and eventually settle down in Kenya. They have the big boys, Google, Facebook, uh, even TikTok, you know, all the big boys in, 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 the, in the space trying to help grow the Kenyan ecosystem. Now in the Ugandan ecosystem, we do not have that. Uh, and then the other challenge is uh, the work that could be done by the Ugandan talent or upskilled, for example, at the top, top agencies, you find that it will be done in Kenya. So you see that the average Ugandan creative or digital professional does not have the same skill set as colleagues in other markets out there like Kenya, Nigeria, South Africa. So that's, that's been a big challenge. The solution for this digital ecosystem in Uganda, the first is upskilling like you see today. Uh, make sure that almost most people are the same wavelength in, in terms of thinking, in terms of strategizing, in terms of reporting, in terms of measurement. So that's a very crucial step to take. Um, the next thing that you want to, you want to do is, uh, actually it's almost married with upskilling, is mentorship. Even a, guy, a, a lady like Grace Nafuna from Paos, who is really doesn't have peers who are at her level, should be, have to, should be able to have mentorship of professionals who are slightly at a, at, at a more experienced level than her, so that she doesn't stagnate and she has people who are growing her. So if we can uh, together mentor the, the next generation as well as the current generation. And the third is, I think, collaboration. Um, the internet, we're lucky that the internet has a lot of video material, tutorials, learnings, courses here, courses there. If we all together collaborate as an industry, it's very easy for us to, to get to the promised land. And what do I mean? Uh, I'll go and study, let's say, course in measurement. Measurement is a very key thing that really holds dear for me, at the very best in the, in, in the world, I mean. So if I'm able to share that with, with a person in the industry, like maybe John or any of the Johns or anyone in the industry, what I've learned, then I can learn also from John what he has learned from another space that he has taken up. But if I'm doing that solo, I, I don't think we have enough time as individuals to be able to, to learn as much as possible. Every day, any of us, if you see on the group, I get a link, you get a link, you share to the group, someone is learning something new in, 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 in that, and I think that's where the industry needs to be. So we need to synergize and collaborate uh, collectively. We need to upskill and then we need to mentor the, the generation that's coming up but, and ourselves too. So, and then the last thing I wanted to say there is we need to also have the hunger to compete at the global scale and I keep sharing that constantly. If you don't have that hunger, we'll not be able to get there because today, I, I mean, I've done work in Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, aggressively with the best in those markets, Mexico as well and uh, yeah, and, and a little bit of uh, some parts of Europe. 
but it's easy for me because I learn as much, but also collaborate with people in those countries as much. So I'm almost at the same wavelength as this. But how do we grow and scale that for every individual in the digital marketing space? I think that's where we want to go. So what does the future look like? Uh, for me, I'm going to really look at what does the promised land look like. Uh, for the promised land for us is uh, having an ecosystem of more than 1,500 people who are skilled to take up digital roles. Just come to think about it, how many taxpayers do we have in the country? If you just place one digital market at, the, at, at there, the industry will grow in so many areas. Now you can't. You have, you have a talent pool of less than 10 people who you'd say, these guys could move this company from A to B, and that's not a good thing. These guys cannot handle all this uh, work that could come out of the industry. For me, I think if in the next three years we can have 1,500 digital marketers that are skilled end-to-end, uh, -end, that will be a, a good thing. Uh, the next is uh, if we can compete fair, favorably with the big boys in South Africa, with the big boys in Kenya, uh, you know, being able to have a Ugandan who is working, 15 Ugandans working at Google and, and handling Africa operations, which is possible, uh, very, very possible. We have some of them. So for me, that's a promised land. The next is uh, uh, speciality. I think we're lacking quite bigly on that. We have generalists, general people with no knowledge generally, but the specialists. Uh, someone who is who is good at a special skill. Say these guys are SEO professionals, so search engine optimization professionals, and you have a thousand of those. Okay, that's quite many, a hundred. Paid media professionals, not someone who can use their card online to buy an ad, but someone who can strategically think through how to run an ad, ads, actually campaigns, how to optimize for them constantly, and how to to model for better optimization. So for me, if we can score in those areas as an industry will be able to get to the promised land. We'll get more money in and also we'll be able to compete favorably to take up remote roles because uh, the world has become an actual global builder because of the pandemic. So we are living in 2028 when we're in 2022. So right now I can, I, can, I can comfortably take up a role in a Silicon Valley startup and I'm best here. So for me that will be good for everyone. Um, instead of getting a 13, 15, 20 million uh, salary in Uganda, okay, that's, uh, that's quite high. <laughs> Maybe eight million, uh, seven, you are taking home more than 36, 35 million. It's happening in the software development world because we have a lot of talent that is working remotely and getting as much. So we need to pivot that to now the digital marketing talent. These are the two takeaways I want you to have today. I want you, one, uh, join the digital uh, learning hub. Uh, that's very crucial so that you can uh, uh, synergize with other peers. The second thing, uh, constantly, constantly take on a new challenge. The challenge could be a certification, it could be a project, it could be anything. These are three things that are very crucial in your digital marketing career. First thing is you want to work at an agency. Don't rush into, into being self-employed. I see a lot of those, that a digital marketer who is self-employed or just an influencer. Look at one, look, work at an agency, make sure you, you do whatever it takes to find yourself placed at an agency. Two, work on the client side. Client side is very crucial because you understand how to fix the different pieces of the puzzle when you work on the client side. Things you are seeing not approved, you'll understand it from that perspective, but also you'll learn how to move your way around the boardroom. Five years from now, three years from now, you're going to be a, a CDO because the, the industry uh, roles that are going to come up that for young people like us, am I really young? I don't know. But as chief digital officer, this is an executive role, you know, uh, and big companies will be looking for people like that. Are you available for that? No. You can only get those if you have worked at the client side and gotten a little bit of that experience and exposure. So for me, that's the takeaway that I want you to have today.